So this is a little bit different than videos that I normally do. I'm in the process of painting an RC car body for my son. He has a uh, Traxxas slash two-wheel drive. It's a Proline Flowtech body. The reviews are great. You can find reviews online about it. Anyway, I got the body. I needed to paint it. But, oh crap, I've never painted an RC car body before. I don't know how to do this. Uh, I thought about getting some of the specialty paint from the hobby shop. But then I went to Walmart and saw some Krylon Fusion paint that's made for plastics, wood, metal. It's pretty cheap, maybe four bucks for a whole big 12 ounce can as opposed to six or seven bucks for about six ounces. So here's the body and you can see I've already done most of the work. So a couple things that I've learned while doing this body. Make sure that you check your masking over and over and over. If you're gonna mask it yourself, and I've got some overspray here on the wheel well where it's supposed to be white. I thought I had it. I thought I had it taped down real nice. And then as I'm removing the masking tape, I'm finding that I missed a couple spots. He wanted the, the base color to be black and then he wanted uh, some lightning bolts on the side. So I don't know how to do the lightning bolts. I ended up just cutting out lightning bolt shapes from some masking tape and then putting it on the inside here and on the hood as well. And then spray painted the, the majority of the body black, the base color with all the masking inside. And then took off the lightning bolts and spray painted the lightning bolts. And he wanted white wheel wells, so that's the point we're at right now. This was mostly his design. He wanted some flames on the rear of the car, right back here. But with all of that uh, that topography back there, all those bumps and ridges and everything, I said, hey, let's let's go with some uh, just some racing stripes to make it nice and easy. So those marks that you see on there, it, it is a um, permanent marker, but it's on the outside. So it's on the outside of the body where there is a protective film and that protective film will come off when we get done spray painting the inside of the body and it should look nice and clean and he'll be able to drive it and scratch it up um, but you know it'll it'll be cool for a little while so I'm gonna go spray paint these wheel wells with the white uh, Krylon fusion paint and we'll get back here in just a minute all right, I put the white on there, and this thing is starting to look more like a zebra car. Uh, I had some problems over here. I, I didn't quite mask that off good enough. I thought, I really, really thought I did, but I missed some parts and got some overspray, and it looks kind of nasty. Initially, I thought maybe I should have waited and done the main color of the body last so that it would be black on the outside uh, as well as black on the inside. But as I got going with the white, um, I started painting the inside. I, I really liked the way this the inside looks being white. Uh, it looks more professional. It kind of looks it kind of looks a little bit cleaner, I think. Um, and I'm I'm really I'm really happy with it. So I'm gonna let this dry a little bit, and we'll have a look at the final body. There it is, the finished body, with all the masking taken off, all of the uh, the outside plastic cover taken off. And uh, I think it looks okay. It's not perfect, um, but it's it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I think it'll work. So a couple things I learned from this project is uh, always check your masking. Check it, check it again, and check it one more time. And don't buy that expensive hobby store paint. I don't think it's worth it. Buy the, uh, the Krylon Fusion for plastics. It seems to work just fine. Uh, if you have any tips for me for my next project, for my next car, uh, leave them below. If you have any questions, um, give me a shout. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. Thanks a lot.